devenu un chien. Tu understands? Tu understands, my friends? Don't be in this horrible space. Funke, I don't understand what you mean. What's on your mind? People are always making me miserable. I've endured that for my friends. But even my parents who raised me up also don't understand me. It's frustrating. Is there any questionable character they're exhibiting? Because I, I know that your parents love you. Respect Lima. Don't defend them. Is that really love? They don't mean it, but because they don't understand me. Okay. That's a wrong assumption. Your dad combines two jobs just to finance your education. That's their responsibilities. I can ask them to give birth to me. Funke, <sighs> it's like your mind is made up. Yes, I have. I don't like them. I hate what they are doing to me. <laughs> then you're forgetting about two personalities. Who are they? You would be amazed at how much they know about you. Okay, you're beginning to scare me, man. I'm not scaring you. It's just that they see and know a lot about you that you do not realize. And one of them has it in for you. Are they guys or girls? Wait. Could you be for looking at Jimmy's? Maybe it's that one, Johnson. Definitely Johnson. Okay. One of them hates you so much. He hates you with passion. Who is the guy? Okay, now I'm sure it is Johnson. Okay. The terrible thing about this is that he has upper hand over you. Please tell me the person. Because Johnson is not that powerful. Because, so I know it's not him. Our system has made you believe that he doesn't exist. The deception is what he's using to have upper hand over you. Ma, you mean I'm under the devil's deception? Hmm. See, Funke, he wants to steal the best of your life for a selfish purpose without your approval. The best of my life. Oh, that's my iPod and tab. Why would he want to steal them? Actually, he has gotten what he wants. Freely from you through his deception. Now, the two personalities are Jesus and Satan. The devil wants you to think that your parent hates you. And in actual fact, they love you. He's only planting seeds of um, offenses and doubts in your mind so that you would hate them. But see, think about the many sacrifices they've made for you. Remember the sleepless nights. Whenever you're sick, no parent who hates you would do that. Hmm. How you talking about your parent is bad. And the Bible says you should honor and respect them. But you said you hate them. It's because I'm confused. The devil is only trying to block your mind, you know, from seeing the good things they've been doing to you. So that you only focus on the little misunderstandings. Hmm. Bad teachers are out there in the world preparing people for their downfall by telling them that the devil does not exist. And whoever believes such a lie, you know, will fall into deception. Hmm. So you mean I'm under the devil's deception? 
The fact that it doesn't appear does not mean that it doesn't exist. Have you seen air and wind before? Or can you hold heat in your hand? No. You see? But you can tell the direction they're coming from and the way they blow. The same way the devil exists. Think about the cloud and the smoke that we can see. But we cannot hold them. Does that mean they do not exist? No. So we can see the devil's work glaringly in the lives of people who do not obey the commandments of God. You mean the criminals? Not necessarily. But killing, humanizing, fighting, backbiting, hating, and the like. They are part of the works of the devil in the lives of people on a daily basis. Hmm. I've never thought along that line before. You may not have thought about it before. And that's part of the devil's deception to hold people down in captivity. But what then can I do now? Since the devil and Jesus have been struggling to have you, why don't you turn to Jesus, run away from the devil and come to God? The truth has been exposed to you now. So you only need to turn back to God you know, accept the truth and reject the errors. Well, how do I reject the errors? Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh to the Father except through me. So all you need to do is to pray and ask for forgiveness of sin. So that you can be able to forgive your parents, honor them, respect them, and turn away from your bad lives. Because it is the commandment of God. For you to honor them. Mm. Shall we pray? Father Lord, please save your daughter. Thank you for today. Please help her. Form yourself in her life. Help her to respect and honor her parents. Help her to come into full understanding of her Lord. Help her to come to full understanding of Christ through the help of our Lord Jesus Christ. For in Jesus' name.